Good morning, everybody. You guys are sitting on top of my caboodle. That is right. I still use a caboodle, and I've had this caboodle since I was 11 years old. I was trying to get ready here, and Lucy climbed over to the garbage can, and she, I looked over to see what she was putting in her mouth, and she found a piece of gum that I had spit out. It was like a like a berry flavored gum and she had it like strung out and I took it away from her and she was not happy. She liked the flavor of my gum, my chewed up gum. How gross is that? So I thought, okay, well I can't let you on the ground right now. I'll just hold you. So how many times have you put makeup on while holding a baby? I have done it so many times. So you just give the makeup to hold, see? I don't use that stuff anymore. Oh yeah, you have, uh oh, you're dropping that. I don't want to get mascara on you. No! Did I get mascara on you? A little bit. Oh well. Who am I trying to press anyway, huh? All of you? Am I trying to impress all of you? This is my caboodle. You like it? It's been a while since I've shown you guys. In fact, I don't know if I've ever really shown you what makeup I use. Let me just go over it really quick, just in case you all are wondering. This is Clinique mascara. It's not like my favorite. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Gel. Here's another mascara that I use sometimes. Cover Girl. Um, I need to find a good mascara. Not my favorites. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this really fast. It won't take me very long because I don't have a ton of it. But this is kind of what I use on the day-to-day. -day. I use the Pearly BB Cream, which I really, really like. Um, I have a Bobbi Brown Under Eye Corrector. Woo! And I keep my Tarte Shape Concealer over here so it can stand straight up. My favorite blush is this one by MAC. Gentle, it's called Gentle, A34. I got a few Clinique ones down there. I have a Lorac, Lorac eyeshadow palette, and a Tarte eyeshadow palette. I have a couple setting sprays. I like this one from Morph, and then this is the Urban Decay. I've got a Hulu bronzer, a finishing powder, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my makeup. Porter has been waiting over here so patiently for me. For his birthday, he got so many like fun outdoor things to play with and look outside. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Just kidding, we don't have an old man in the house. But he did get a Lego set from Grandma Griffiths and Cooper went to town on the box yesterday. Cooper even wrote, he tried to write Porter, but on the other side he wrote Cooper and he asked all day to play with it the other day and I told him no this is Porter's and Porter will open it when he's ready and Porter is ready to open it and I did tell Cooper and you told Cooper that he could play with it when he comes home from school but we'll do the majority of the setting up so he's been reading the instructions while I got ready thank you for waiting so patiently my big four-year-old boy are they all out I can't get this camera straight you either see my head and not his or you see his head and not mine um, okay, what are we building here, buddy? Mm, what is he? I don't know who that is. We'll find out. We've got Spider-Man, a bad man, and a Lego man. What? Do you know how to read numbers like that? It says one. Um, two. Good job. Three. And that's the number four. That's how old you are. Wait. Who needs preschool when you've got Legos? I got you. Right here. <laughs> I saw I didn't find it. Ready, set, fire! The fire! Fire! I want to have a toy over there. I want to play. Porter just had to go to the bathroom and he said, stop the instructions, I had to go pee. So I stopped the instructions, I'm not playing without him, he said, but he has drinking so much water and he's gone to the bathroom so much lately. Like I noticed it a little bit before, let's see, it's been going on for like a week or two weeks almost, that he is just drinking and gone to the bathroom so much. And I remember, no, are you ready? Oh, go flush the toilet, hurry, run, run, run. And use hand sanitizer. I remember thinking the same thing when Emma was little. There was a phase, she went through a phase where she drank a lot and peed a lot and I thought, she's diabetic, she's a diabetic. And I mean, she, she wasn't, she was fine. And so I'm just kind of like playing it by ear. We're just kind of seeing 
to how things go. He actually does have a well child checkup here soon, so. Um, are you ready? Awesome, well that's a lot of hand sanitizer. Your hands are all foamy and bubbly. Um, so we'll just kind of keep watching him and seeing, like there's no other red flags, no other signs that I think he would be a diabetic, but I just think it's kind of, I don't know. He, he just really does drink and pee a lot. Are you just really thirsty all the time? Yeah, I treat my drink the way I do pee in the toe and not in, Oh, that was oh, put in a diaries too. Yeah, you're potty trained, aren't you? That's a good thing. Yeah, good thing. Oh, where's my Oh yeah, oh yeah. I put it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put a fire. This kid thinks he's so sneaky. I was in the bathroom and I heard this move and I knew what was up on this shelf and then I heard the gate open. What's in your hand? Nothing. You are so sneaky. If I take something away from you and I put it up high, you're not supposed to sneak and try and get it. Why do you not have the remote? I don't even know what happened earlier. Who knows, who knows, all I know is I took it away from him and said, you can't watch TV today, you're not watching TV, because he probably, did you disobey me about something? Probably. But you can't sneak it away though, that's the thing. See, you're trying to sneak it, you can't sneak it away. You don't get to watch TV today, I won't let you get away with it, okay buddy? Did you look at me and say, Mom, I love you so much. I love you so much. You're sorry? Say, you are the best. You are the best. I know I am, which is why I'm going to keep to my word, okay? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to play this game? Let's go play the game behind you. Let's go throw the balls, okay? Um, you are silly. Am I silly? No. Say, Mom, you are the prettiest. You are prettiest. And you are the nicest. You are pretty. I am pretty. I'm not very nice right now, am I? That's all right. I don't have to be nice, I'm the mom. Okay, <laughs> close the door, you got it? One of my worst errands to run. I don't mind getting in the car and running errands and going places, but one of the worst places I do not like going is the, the post office. I don't even mind the bank, it's the post office. I don't know what it is about the post office. <laughs> I don't like the post office, but I do like my little sister, which is why I am coming here. I've gotta mail off a little, little birthday package for her, so. I wish me luck at the post office. The line is always long. Look how long that is. Happy. Emma decided to write on the package, and so I said, at least write happy birthday. Oh, try not to poke the box. Yeah, you drape soft. Cooper, did you put a stamp on her box too? A Halloween stamp? Okay, right, love Emma. What is on your fingernails? That is not nail polish. Did you color it with a marker? Yeah. Emma, that is terrible. In fact, speaking of nail polish, that's what's in there. It's like a gel nail polish. It's like a one-step polish, not a clear coat, a top coat, and a base coat. It's just a one-step polish. Do you think she'll like it? Mm-hmm. Emma, if you were the president of the United States, you wouldn't have to bud people. Guess what? Everyone would do stuff for you. Holy cow, I did not know it was tax day. It was packed in there. Not only do I not like the post office, but I do not like the post office on tax day. Ah, we got through it and I'm sure we were quite the scene to watch for all the people standing in line. Right kids? Yeah. Right kids. Okay, let's go get a treat. Someone is, someone's subwoofers are like loud. I can feel someone's speakers on their car. <laughs> so I just made the dumbest mistake. So I followed this thing on Instagram and it was like, free shaved ice at this one location today only. So I was like, that would be fun to take the kids. Thinking it was in this location when really it was in this location. So I drove across a busy Provo town rush hour to get to the other location and it wasn't even there. I think it was supposed to, uh, anyway. It wasn't even there. So we stopped at Arctic Circle to get a treat instead to make up for anyway. Now the food is sitting in the crock pot, probably burning, and kids are tired, falling asleep. But the shake was worth it. So 
we're gonna call it a night here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you in the next video. Are those ice cream cones worth it? <laughs> not worth it. You better go to sleep tonight. <laughs>